What's going on everybody, Dogman Dan here. Just a quick couple of moments here before I show you my latest Loki Prime and Loki build. I actually have the same build on both of them, honestly. I actually need to form it into the regular Loki, obviously, because that ha Loki Prime had to form his slots already for you. Um, Hushed Invisibility mod, which is why the target couldn't see me. And I also run Irritating Disarm on this particular setup. I do change Loki uh, a lot. I change his build around a lot to test around different things. And to get more and more aggressive, more and more advanced with them. So as that happens, we drop things like redirection uh, and vitality. Uh, those have been known to come out of my, my setups here. Actually, I don't have redirection on it. I'll show you the actual build here in just a moment. Um, we got a Manic running around. I accidentally dropped my... Um, force specter out so she's running around with me oh i was so pissed when i did that i did not mean to do that in this mission but she, as you can see there she is she'll devastate everything so with the irritating disarm on this manic is is actually going to work in my favor as you probably just saw a second ago he was killing the other grenier along with my specter but uh, he'll go ahead and when I hit him with the irritating disarm again, he will go ahead and take everything else out for me. Um, which is kind of nice. Hush and visibility, of course, I can stand there. They don't know where I'm at, so I can just shoot them. Now, there are instances that if you've been spotted and you've shot from that position, like you come out from inv invisibility and you shoot from that position and then you go back to invisible, they're still going to come to that point. Because we know that they know the point that they last heard the noise. So just keep that in mind. If you're shooting and you come out of invisibility, they're all going to rush to anyway. Even if you go back to invisibility, they're going to pretty much stand on you. Which is actually not a bad thing if you're running Irritating Disarm. Because you just go ahead and drop that and they'll go ahead and kill them all. Um, there we go. We hit him. Now the Manic will finish his thing. Take out the rest of the Grenier and then go after my poor Spectre. And she rips his ass. Just like so. I'm going to go over here and mess around with them a little bit. Yeah, just like this. Uh-huh. Right? Little ragdoll here. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and get right into the way it's set up. All right, so here we are looking at the Loki Prime setup. Now, I am also running my Loki, the actual standard Loki, almost the same way. Um, I don't have Forma into the regular Loki, so I'm missing one of the two mods. I pretty much have to interchange these two around with the way I've set things up. But... Uh, this is what you're looking at. So, in terms of your aura, I'm usually running Energy Siphon. In the Void, it's not really a necessity, as most people know that you can run anything else that would be dashed aura, um, if you will. So, even Corrosive Projection, because you're going to get the orbs out of the, uh, the energy from the orbs inside of the Void. A loot detector, if you're looking for the loot stuff. Um, shield Disruption, Sniper, Speed Holster sprint boost so you have a million different things that you can run there uh, if you want inside of that but uh, otherwise what we're looking at here is our 30 second duration so I got prime continuity narrow-minded constitution okay I probably will never get this that last one leveled I don't think I'll ever level the last two on here I just don't need it I've only got one narrow-minded uh, so I don't need to go any higher because the negative effect of the power range at that point is too much for me uh, I've got constitution in here for more duration. So that's my 30 seconds Of course, you got vitality which again depending upon how you play you could take this out if you're really wanting to play pretty aggressive You could take this out and you'd have another mod slot um, Overextended here. It's gonna cover my range loss and give me a 45% increase Prime flow of course giving me that 700 pool and then Irritating Disarm and Hushed Invisibility, the two Syndicate mods on here for me. Uh, and this allows me to pretty much take this anywhere I want to go. With some, obviously, tweaks here or there uh, at any point. But like I was saying, uh, one last thing here, because I changed Loki around so much, but you guys keep asking. Uh, uh, you could pretty much take this out if you wanted to. Okay, slide that over there. And then, you know what? I mean, the best thing in the game for us there would be even throw and stretch in now you got 181 percent power range which works really good with the irritating disarm of course and the only thing you gotta be prepared for is the fact that you have no health no shield so as long as you stay invisible you take that few seconds in between 
uh, you should be fine. But this is more aggressive, so I don't highly recommend it for everybody to run it this way. Uh, for the most part, if you want to run it, this is how I'm going to do it. I like to have a little energy, a uh, little health pool anyway. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you soon.